we will see digital storage oscilloscope this is a very important topic in exam question is like this draw the block diagram of dso and explain in detail so normally dso is nothing but digital storage oscilloscope before dso we are using cro cro is nothing but cathode ray oscilloscope but cro we can say as this is analog and this dso is a digital means we can't store a waveform in a cro but that is available facility of storing any type of a waveform is available on dso so dso are available in two types first one is the processing type and second one is the non processing type processing type dso has inbuilt processing power while non processing have only the display the we can say as a stored waveform both type of this stored waveform in the digital signal are in a digital memory now this is a block diagram of dso from this block diagram you can see that uh, means first we apply input signal to amplifier then digitizer digital memory analyzer waveform reconstruction like this so by using the dso waveform can be stored digitized in a digital memory and to retrieve the display on a screen as long as power supplied to the memory the waveform can be displayed indefinitely now this is a figure this is very important that we call this as a block diagram input signal whatever our input signal we apply to amplifier so amplifier attenuates and amplifies the analog signal as per our requirement then amplified signal is applied to digitizer digitizer is nothing but that consist of as a we can say as a digital signal means that convert analog signal into digital signal so that will consist of we can say sampler quantizer and encoder so that sample and uh, sample and analog to digital converter the sample samples the analog signal at regular interval and produce a sample version and that are applied to digital memory means that is digitizer is nothing but we can say as analog to digital converter each value of analog signal is converted to digital signal after that that digital signal is stored in a semiconductor memory that is we can say as this is a digital memory so first input signal amplifier will amplify the signal at a particular level digitizer will convert analog signal to digital signal then that digital signal is stored in digital memory and then that applied to we can say analyzer now the purpose of this analyzer is what analyzer will analyze or which uh, fetches the stored waveform from memory and analyze to produce a variety of different information means according to this particular waveform whatever we stored we digitize the information regarding that waveform is we can say that produced by analog analyzer means it will produce a different waveform after that waveform reconstruction circuit that are used for according to the digital information means whatever the input signal we convert into digital according to the digital signal we are getting some information about waveform and that waveform we have to reconstruct by using this waveform reconstruction in a repetitive manner, manner and applied to vertical we can say deflection plate then swift vertical deflection plate then the sweep of the time base sorry apply to vertical deflection plate that is nothing but a crt here we are using one horizontal amplifier time base trigger and clock now trigger and clock are just nothing but triggering purpose clock is to provide a clock and time base generator to set a particular we can say as a time so that sweep or time base of a sawtooth waveform that is amplified by horizontal amplifier applied to horizontal deflection plates so that crt will display the stored digitized waveform so advantages is nothing but you can say digitized signal can be stored for a long time signal processing is possible cursor measurement is possible it is capable of displaying xy plot pv diagram bh curve then applications we are used for ac voltage measurement ac current measurement of frequency time period inductance capacitance then in radar medical applications to analyze tv waveform to observe the radiation pattern generated by transmitting antenna so in exam suppose question is like this draw the block diagram of 
CRO and explain it. You have to draw this block diagram and this explanation according to this diagram. After that, you can write advantages and application. So this is very important topic in unit number four. So I will explain again this particular DSO block diagram. Input signal that are applied to amplifier. Amplifier will amplify the input signal to a particular level. Then it is applied to digitizer. Digitizer is nothing but we can say it consists of sample and whole circuit. Means sampling, quantizing and encoding. Means each input signal is sampled to a particular level. And then by using analog to digital converter that signal is converted to digital. Then whatever the signal converted to digital that are stored in a digital memory that we called as a semiconductor memory then it will apply to analyzer now the purpose of analyzer is what to fetches the stored waveform from the memory and to produce a variety of information from this particular waveform then that apply to waveform reconstruction that used for to construct a different waveform and then this is applied to we can say CRT tube then to lock is necessary for digital means for that DSO time based generator horizontal amplifier that are again we are using and that apply to CRT so here we can generate a digital waveform and we can store also that digital waveform next point is a power scope this is another type of we can say as a digital storage oscilloscope that is designed to measure display voltage and waveform in a low power circuit and high power circuit simultaneously means suppose there are two types of circuit one is a low power circuit and one is high power so in that low power and high power particular circuit we can use a power scope to display or to measure different types of a waveform so that power scope is nothing but we can call this as a dual trace oscilloscope means it can display two waveform simultaneously power scope having a feature such that grounded for panel and control minimize so this is we can say as a diagram for a power scope conventional CRO channel 1 channel 2 means in that one is connected to positive one is connected to negative middle one is we can say as a common reference point that is connected to ground and for channel 2 again positive and negative so this is a conventional CRO by using this conventional CRO it is not possible to display the waveform at a time but that problem overcome in a power scope in a power scope there are two separate channel means here channel 1 positive negative channel 2 positive negative means by using this power scope you can display the two waveform simultaneously so power scope is nothing but we can say advantages as compared to conventional CRO so in exams of question is like this draw explain a power scope you have to draw this diagram means you have to show what is mean by conventional CRO and how we can display the waveform but two waveform simultaneously we can't display on this this is exactly happen in case of a power scope two channels separately so we can display two waveform simultaneously